you shat your pants. It's a huge brown stain running down his pants. And he goes, oh, oh God. <laughs> Takes off running from over there to where we are right here. Into the woods. I've been back here the, uh, every last time we played, like three or four times since then, and the jeans that he shat his bricks in. That's still been here. Where are they? I'm looking, right now we're looking for the jeans. Okay? Appears to have unearthed somewhere over here, a sock. Because the shit had run down his jeans, as you notice, this is probably two years old, but there's some discoloration. I think the jeans are around here somewhere. Oh, oh. There they are. Oh, oh what's this? Oh. Uh. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. <laughs> here they are. Hey, Willie! Oh, no! Watching Black Sabbath and uh, Ken from Unearth and uh, Mark from Lamb of God were also standing behind us, and all of a sudden they grab Mark and drag him down the hallway. They kidnapped him. And they pull me out from behind the stage, and they're like, Since you were such a good sport, we're kidnapping you, we're gonna show you a good time. This situation was so bizarre, and I never lost track of the fact that. This is a tragic situation. Yes. You know, as soon as I learned that someone was dead, particularly a fan of my band, are you kidding me? I'm like, okay, this is serious. But I can't sit in any situation but for 24 hours a day, like, oh my God, you know, what's gonna happen to me? This is terrible. That sucks. That's no way to deal with reality because reality, if you are waiting for reality to constantly be perfect, and be the way you like it, you're gonna be disappointed. I made sure I laughed every day while I was in prison. It wasn't like I wrote this book and I'm like, I'm gonna construct these funny scenes. Like I laughed every day. I made a point of making sure I laughed every day. I was trying to maintain some PMA. Even if it was only at how bad everything sucked and the ridiculousness, I had to, to laugh because it helped me maintain a positive mental attitude as the almighty bad brains in, have instructed unto us. I'm very sorry for the loss. If ultimately the Czech legal system Pokud, uh, system sentence me to prison, uh, system do I will do my sentence like a man. I really didn't know Chester before we started talking about doing this song. Yeah. Uh, but you know, once he heard the song and wanted to be a part of it, and we you know started having the conversations about where we're going with it, and then got in a room together, we had a real creative rhythm right away. He had a lot of lyrics, a lot of ideas for vocal lines, melody, that kind of thing. He was really enthusiastically participating in the writing of the song, um, which I was humbled by. You know, he 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 didn't he didn't have to be there. Chester Bennington didn't yeah. come half. He didn't have to come record a song with the guitar player from Lamb of God. He did it because he loved the tune and because he was excited about screaming again and being on something, you know, more metal, more, a little, little heavier. I'm hoping it's only a matter of time. I've been told that the 
uh, detective on the case is confident that they'll turn up sooner than later. So. When they arrested him, apparently they didn't have it and they were unable to turn it up. It's probably in a dumpster behind a drug dealer's couch somewhere. The images of the gentleman, uh, again, yeah, don't, right? <laughs> don't a lot of yeah. attention. Yeah. Uh, They're great pictures. Yeah. I mean, if nothing else. I couldn't have dreamt up a better dream team. <laughs> right? Yeah. It's exactly what you would picture yeah. they would yeah, look yeah. like. It's pretty perfect. Methamphetamines. Oh! <laughs> Ah! <laughs>